everyone, I'm Casey Cust here with Coach Neal. If you're watching this, that means you know the Hope-Calvin rivalry went down Wednesday night here in DeVos with Hope pulling out a big win. First of all, Coach, huge game. You guys get an exciting win over Calvin. You're 15-1, and 7th in the nation on an 11-game winning streak. Is Hope College men's basketball program feeling a little on top of the world right now or what? Well, we're just really fortunate right now to be in our position. I think that it, it, it's a credit to our players, absolutely, that, that they work so hard. Um, last night's ball game was certainly exciting, uh, but it was a tale of two halves. They, they kind of dominated everything about the first half, and we came out and turned the tables in the second half, played a whale of a half on defense, and, uh, and it's caused us then to continue to, to focus on, on what we do well, and that's defend and rebound and run. Like you said, not exactly your ideal first half. Calvin was leading the whole <laughs> time by as many as 12. You went into the half down eight. What was your message to your team at the half? Well, I, th I, th I said to them, first of all, I don't know if Calvin can shoot 64% again. That was one thing, and that's what they shot the first half. Um, I also told the guys I thought that they shot 64% because we didn't, we didn't play with enough heart, and we had to change that. We needed to do the little things. You know, there were several loose balls in the first half that Calvin won because they dove after the ball. We were hoping to get it. In the second half, that we turned the table on that. We were on the floor. We were after, after people. And I thought we played with a lot of passion and a lot of heart, which is kind of the message at halftime. Now let's talk a little about Nate Snuggerud. He's your second leading scorer. He was getting double, even triple teamed in the first half. Calvin held him to four then, but he finished with 17. What was the difference for Snugs in the second half? Well, I had a little conversation with him and told him he needed to toughen up a little bit. I think he was he was playing the game for the foul in early on, and, they, and it wasn't being called, which is, is fine. So you got to play the game to go to the hole and get to the rack and – and it's kind of like the sleeping giant was awakened, and, and he, he just took over the paint in the second half. And, and we need that from him. We have, we have good perimeter players. We have good, good interior people, but we need Snugs to be consistent. And, and when he's been good, we've been very good. And, and last night was another case. Now you're also getting some incredible guard play. David Crombie finishing with 21 points, Pete Budden 20. Colton Overway also played really well. But they're not just scoring, they're filling the stat lines with assists and steals, playing with great chemistry. What kind of spark have they provided? Well, I think that, that what we have with our guard play, you know, we play probably four or five guys in the perimeter position with with Siler, with Crombie, Bunn, Logan, Neal, um, Overway, um, bringing those guys in to play those perimeter spots. And, and what we're able to do is, is find a rotation on any given night. It could be different, and we, we just play the game smart. And I think that's what we did last night. Colton found ways to penetrate and kick. He found guys on runouts. Um, I think David and Pete complement each other very, very well. And, and when we're able to get, get good, consistent guard play and smart guard play, we're a pretty tough team. And, and if we combine that with some great interior play as well, that, that's a good balance for any basketball team. Okay, obviously a big win. You made the right adjustments at halftime. The guys are playing really well lately, but what are some things you're going to have them working on to continue to improve as the season goes on? Well, we continually challenge our guys daily. One of, one of the things that we're trying to do is develop our half-court trapping game because I think that in given, given situations, it can be very effective. I thought last night for a few possessions, it kind of threw Calvin uh, off kilter a little bit. Uh, down the road, when we're, when we're looking a f little bit further beyond with teams like Adrian, um, who have great quickness, um, we have to be able to get out and get on their people and, and force them to do some things differently. And I think that, that our half-court trapping game is something that we can do. I think that our full-court pressing game could be effective if we learn to get back down the floor a little faster. And so we'll work a little bit on that today. But again, we, we've just got to continue focusing on what we're doing well, tweak it a little bit to make it even better. And, and pick up some of those deficiencies, which right now I would say the one thing that stands in my mind is just consistent rebounding effort. All right, and we know you guys will get hard to work on that. The next home game is Saturday night at 7.30 versus Olivet. Following a women's game earlier that day versus Albion at 3, make sure you get out, support the teams, and keep checking out the Hope College YouTube channel for more updates on Hope Athletics.